Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all healthy and safe. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at two products from Basis. So you might be familiar with the brand if you've ever gone into a store like a Best Buy in the US or something to look for accessories for your MacBook or smartphones. They make smartphone accessories. I remember seeing um, buying a Samsung Galaxy S8 case from the brand Basis in Hong Kong a while ago. They're kind of all over Hong Kong and I've seen them in Taiwan and in the US too. So the two products here is a wireless presenter that's compatible for multiple devices and its instant plug and play compatibility which i'll cover soon and also a multi-functional hub adapter now this is basically kind of like a dongle but it's not quite a dongle it looks better and it sounds better than a dongle because dongle it just sounds like a weird term and to be honest dongle looks weird too like nobody likes a dongle just look at how it looks look at how the word sounds dongle it's weird but you have to use one for the, let me get rid of this. But you have to use a dongle for the MacBook Pro because Apple's only including four ports. All of them are USB-C. So you have no HDMI, you have no traditional USB 3.0, so you must use a dongle. Now, uh, I gotta grab the dongle again. If you use one of these, you plug it in, and you know, you have a little thing that kind of hangs off the side and it's wobbly, it looks a little bit weird. So this multi-functional hub from Basis, first of all, I just think it looks better than a dongle and it's just as portable. It looks pretty stylish and it also serves a practical use because when you pull them open, they actually plug into the machine underneath and props up the machine a little bit, which will give you a better typing angle and helps heat dissipation. Okay, let's look at the ports. So there are nine in all. There's a headphone jack, there's an HDMI out that pumps out 4K 30 Hertz video output. You have a USB-C data port that pumps out five gigabits per second of data. And then it's also backwards compatible. And then you have here the first of several USB-C 3.0 port. And then this is the charging port, the lightning port, and also supports USB-C PD power delivery. So you can charge with Apple's 96 watt fast charger and it'll work. And also 100 watt fast charger if you have one lying around. You have here an Ethernet port, although I'm not sure how many people now they still plugs in a physical Ethernet cable. And yeah, two more USB-C 3.0 ports right here. And on this end, it's another USB-C Lightning PD power delivery port. So you can charge the machine either way and you can also transfer data, obviously. Now let's put them into the machine. So you simply plug into the USB-C slot. And after that, you have, um, it props up your MacBook Pro a little bit, gives you a better typing angle, slightly better screen positioning, and you have all the ports that you need. Now, unfortunately, this is missing an SD card slot, and that's probably my biggest complaint of this. I wish there was an SD card slot, but other than that, it has all the ports I need, including a headphone jack, which is important because sometimes I output to an external monitor to edit videos. And then if I have a headphone jack, I can plug in a headphone jack directly with a headphone and listen to my video as I'm cutting it in real time right there without needing to rely on the speaker, or without relying on the speaker output from the monitor, which there is none anyway. So this multifunctional hub sells for around $45. I've seen various prices. I think you can find one as low as $40 and probably there will be some discounts maybe a little bit lower too, but it's generally around 40 to 45 US dollars. So let's look at the second products, the wireless dot projector. This sells for around 12 to $15, again, depending on the site, 12 to 15 US dollars. I've already tested this out yesterday. So this is basically a presenter. You have controls to manually move slides forward or backwards and a laser pointer for you to basically, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but you have a laser pointer for when you're giving presentations. But what sets this apart from other wireless projectors is that at the bottom, it's an accessory. And then you see that it has both a traditional USB-A 3.0 port and a USB-C port. And all you need to do, it's plug in whichever port you need 
into your machine and it'll automatically sync everything up. You can begin presenting right away. You don't need to download a software. You don't need to pair over Bluetooth. There are a lot of these in Hong Kong that you can buy that only gives you a USB A port. So that means you can't use it on a Mac without using a dongle because there is no USB A port on a Mac. But with this, it'll work whether you're using a Mac or Windows. So let's plug in the USB C. I'm gonna try both of them really quick. Let's try it through the port. So I've plugged it in. And I believe it should be working immediately. Let me open up pages. Yep, you see, so now I can control the slide with this controller. And all I needed to do is plug it in. Now let's try the other port, USB-A. So now I've plugged it into the USB-A port. Yep, it is working too. So now if I output the screen to a bigger display, which is what a lot of people do during presentations, I can use a laser pointer to highlight, say, to a whole classroom or to an office. So let me just plug out an HDMI cable and plug it into the hub. All right, so now I'm outputting to an external monitor. So now with the joystick, I can control the slides and tell people, oh, okay, so this is geology for beginners. And if I need to highlight a part, I just highlight it like that. This isn't even real words right here. This is a stock document. I can be like, oh, right here, beginner's report. That's why you guys have to learn this because you guys are beginners. So yeah, this um, plug and play, pretty easy to use, 12, 15 bucks. So I think a lot of office people will probably make use for this. Likewise, with the basis hub that allows you to output to a different monitor. So that about wraps up for these two products. This is the multi functional hub adapter and this is the wireless dot presenter 45 bucks 12 to 15 bucks if you're interested in either of these products i'll have the link in the description below so that's about it for this video i'm gonna have more content coming up including a video on the new meizu flagship phone it's actually being shipped to me right now so um take care stay healthy thanks for watching